Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in Visual Basic and today we're going to be learning about timers and random numbers so let's get started so uh, first as you can see here I created a list box I call it list time and a start button and a stop button and that's all I have absolutely no code okay so let's start off with timers so what if we would like to uh, create a well first of all let me try to compare it to something in case you might know uh, the timer is exactly the same as the set interval function in JavaScript, just in case if you know JavaScript. But anyways, what it allows you to do is choose the interval, which is how often uh, a piece of code will execute. So let's figure out how to create a timer. So go to go all the way down to components, then at the bottom should be your timer. And it's not something that's actually visible on your form, so in order to access it, just click it here. And the interval, this number is in milliseconds. So 1,000 milliseconds will be one second. So let's make it a thousand for this scenario that we'll be dealing with. And double click it to see the code. What code will execute during this? So, uh, okay, static variable x as integer. And what shall we do? probably x plus equals 1 and then list there we go dot items dot add and then inside I'll throw in x dot to string plus seconds whoops I should probably put parentheses around the seconds since startup or or I don't know, since, yeah, probably since startup, even though that won't necessarily be true once we stop it, but uh, just for a good example. Uh, so now we need to actually access this piece of information. So in the start here, in here, we're going to have to be able to access that timer. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, just type in timer1, because we didn't actually give it a name. Sorry about that. So it's just by its default timer1 dot and then here's the start way down there so so that will start it for us and then in order to stop it uh, you could guess dot stop there we go so I click save then when I open this up I click start and there you go it tells us the seconds and if you click stop now it stops now that I click start, now it's not necessarily true because it's uh, just continuing the numbers. Uh, so I could probably have just kept it as dim. If I go dim, let's see what happens. And you know what? I should probably clear list time dot items dot clear. Now let me try that again. So start. Uh, no, that was no good. So I definitely had to keep it as a static. But yeah, so uh, that's an example of working with timers. So if I go back here, I highlight timer. Notice you can change the name there. It's interval, so 1,000 milliseconds is one second. And yeah, just do whatever you'd like with it. So that's pretty cool. Now the next thing I'd like to show you uh, are random numbers. I'm really excited about this one because, uh, let me get rid of this. Because random numbers are actually the first thing, uh, most important thing to learn about when creating video games. Trust me about that. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of a bunch of these. And let's learn how to create a random number. Let's say we're playing, uh, I don't know, a Pokemon game. So let's create a button for an attack, shall we? And I'll have it called Thunder because that's one of my favorite attacks. Actually, Ice Beam might be my favorite, but... Uh, Let's just call it Thunder. Whoops. Then down here, I call it an ampersand Thunder. There we go. And then I'll access it. Now every time we access it, okay, so first we should create our variable, which will be our, uh, our random number. So I'll just call it, I don't know, my rand. That's a that that's a common thing that you'll see in uh, textbooks. They usually call it myrand. As new, 
and then random there we go there it is so that's our new uh, random number then under this uh, let's create a new variable I'll call it dim and then number or how about this I'll put it chance and I'll uh, have that as a double and I'll set it equal to and then type out my rand dot and then next and then the bounds you want it to check for so we want to check for the accuracy so we want to throw out 0 through 100 then we're going to want to create an if statement for our thunder attack shall we this is so so amazing okay so if chance is so thunder if you don't know in pokemon has a seventy percent chance of hitting which really stinks because it misses so much but anyways if it's less than or equal to seventy then let's have a message box pop up dot show and we'll have it say uh... what should we have it say we should have it say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to change it a little bit, but just give me a moment. So less than or equal will be a hit, and call it result, and an OK. Then we'll have an else down here. Then it'll say message box dot show, and it will be your attack missed then whoops result uh, message box there we go there's a little ok button there we go so if it's less than or equal to 70 then it hit but if it's greater so that's a 30 percent chance then it misses so I'll hit thunder your attack missed. Oh man. Click it. Oh, now it hit. Oh, it hit again. All right, we got a streak of hits here. Oh, this is awesome. We be defeating the Elite 4 and everything. Oh, oh, now the attack missed. So, isn't that cool or what? So, it will generate a number between uh whatever our bounds are, so 0 to 100. And yeah. So, you know what? Let's have this at 60, yep. And then create an else if. Oh, what could Adam be doing now? So let's do chance is greater than 60 and chance is less than or equal to 70. And just because it makes me feel more comfortable, I will put an extra set of parentheses outside of these guys. It, it's a habit of mine with other languages to do that. So, so if it's greater than 60 or less than equal to 70, let's create another message box here. Copy, paste, um, critical hit. Yep, so a 70% chance of it hitting uh, and in total 10% chance of it being a critical hit so that's really really cool so let's run this application and see if we can get a critical hit Oh, that didn't even hit oh it hit hit oh it missed hit 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 oh I'll get it eventually I'll get my critical hit Oh. You know what? This might actually go on for a while. My 10% chance is really bad here. Your attack missed. Oh, this is terrible. I'm just getting no critical hits here. Okay, I might... Oh, there it is! Oh, right, we got a critical hit. Okay, so there you go. So 10% chance. Maybe we should make it a 20% chance just because that, that took a lot of shots. But anyways, um, 
that was, what did we do first? Uh, timers. And after timers, random numbers. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you, and I, I just love doing this kind of stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, and I hope to see you next time.